you say it's inspired? Why, why do you say it's inspired? Why do you say it's inspired? Because the Roman Catholic Church tells you it is. Because I've done the research, Matt. Really? You have? Yeah. Jesus, and you're going back to the quotation equals canonicity. Jesus and the apostles no, I didn't never say quoted that. from Obadiah. I didn't they say never quoted from Zephaniah, Judges, First Chronicles, Nahum, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Ecclesiastes, or Song of Solomon, but you accept them as canonical. Because the Jews re accepted them as canonical, and Jesus accepted them as canonical when he referenced... So if it's a positive... Hey, Paul, hold on a sec. Because Jesus referenced the first to the last, the first and the last books of the Old Testament canon at that time. And he also referenced the law of the prophets and the psalms. The prophets is all of Jeremiah, all the major minor prophets, and the psalms. He went and he used the three references. He never referred to the Apocrypha. Because there was no distinction, Matt. Yes, there was. Okay, what's the oldest? Uh, we've all got, you know, internet and stuff nowadays. What's the oldest book where I can find a distinction between the quote-unquote Apocrypha and the rest of scripture. I don't, the oldest, I don't understand your oldest question. Bible I can find that in. I don't understand your question. Okay. Where's the, what's the oldest version of the Bible, the oldest manuscript, where I can see that the Apocrypha is moved to a separate index? I don't know. That's kind of important, don't you think? No. Every Bible before no. Martin Luther's included them? No. Do you know about the codices, Matt? Yes. Okay, do you know that the codices, by and large, include them? The three so, oldest major codices? Okay, let me say this again. So stinking what? We've already addressed it. Jesus didn't quote from them or consider them to be inspired. The apostles did not either. They did not and do I just it. Went off, dude, I just went off a, a list of other books he didn't quote, but we accept them as canonical, so quoting them doesn't make them canonical. Hey, co you know what? How many times did I say the same thing? God gave the Jews the oracles. He gave it to the yeah, Jews. The Lord of God, the word of God. Can I, yeah. can I finish? God gave it to the Jews. The Jews didn't consider the Apocrypha Christian. I mean, uh, inspired. Okay, so is the New Testament the word of God? Yes. Okay, but they didn't accept it. Right. So did they get the entirety? Did they get the entirety... There's more to that. Of the word. Did they get the entirety of the word? You're not asking a good question. The logion, Matt. What about the it? The word translated to, to oracle. No, okay. I'm saying ask logion. a complete question. Did the Jews receive the entirety of God's word? Up to the point of Christ, yes. Because that was a position that was given to them. You're just arbitrarily picking which group of Jews. No, 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 you are. The Jews in the Old Testament are the ones who had the canon given to them by God. The New Testament apostles are the ones who continued the revelatory work of God. The Apocrypha was way before the apostles in the person of Christ. All they do is look back. Look, years. All they had to do is look back. They knew what the Apocrypha was, and they never considered it. In fact, Jerome, for the Latin Vulgate, I just put this in doing some research yesterday. Thanks for reminding me, Diane. But Jerome didn't consider the Apocrypha inspired. And that's a Latin Vulgate that you guys use. Uh, here's what Jerome said. Jerome said, What sin have I committed if I follow the judgment of the churches? But he who brings charges against me for relating the objections that the Hebrews are wont to raise against the story of Susanna, the son of the three children, and the story of Bel and the dragon, which are not found in the Hebrew volume, proves that he is a foolish sycophant, for I was relating my own personal views, but rather the remarks that they, the Jews, are wont to make against us. Okay. That's against Rufinius. Okay, so, Rufinus, so he didn't consider it, he did not consider it scripture. That's Jerome was Catholic and he subje subjected his personal opinions he didn't, to the hierarchy of the church. I'm just telling you, he didn't, he didn't uh, consider scripture. And Jesus didn't, and the apostles didn't. <laughs> he did, and if no, anybody didn't. wants to read Jerome's work, he used the Deuteronomical canonical books as scripture until the end of his life. Look, I'm trying to tell you that the Jews never recognized the, apost as the Apocrypha as being Jerome. scripture. The Jews. Okay, so... So you're saying they weren't part of any religious use 
prior to Friday? I didn't say that, did I? Well, I'm, I'm just trying to get See, you. See, you're not, now. this is what you do, is you're a typical Roman Catholic. You change what I'm saying into something else. I asked you, Matt. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. I yes, just want to understand where you're coming from because there's so okay. many. Jews, the, the Jews. Reason, did, uh, the did. Ryan Turner document doesn't contain a true statement in it, Matt. Oh, yes, it does. Now, which one? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, the Jews did not, did not consider the Apocrypha to be scripture. It was existent. Some Jews didn't. It was... Some Jews didn't. Oh, man. Okay, look, I'm going to show you something. Some Jews look, didn't. Look, 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 look. I got, I'm going to tackle you on something. Look, do you really believe uh, the Roman Catholic Church is true? Seriously, I do, Matt. Okay. And you do believe, then, ultimately, that by offering money and sacrifices, alms, and things like that. You can deliver people from the, from damnation and purgatory and things like that, right? Matt, are you referencing Tobit 4.11 and 12.9? Yeah. Or 2 Maccabees 12.4? Are you or are you not going to admit that that is what it says? And do you agree with that? I'd, I'd definitely like to take a look at what that says. For alms deliver from all sin and from death and will not suffer the soul to go into darkness. Alms. Mm-hmm. So alms do that, right? Isn't that right? That's right. what um, the person that wrote Tobit, who was a Jew... Wait a minute, that's inspired according to you and the Roman Catholic Church. Yes. Okay, so giving alms helps people be freed from sin. Money, food, donations given to the poor, things well, to charity, those are alms. Problem. Here's the problem, Matt. It delivers from sin. You start, sin. At, you so, start at to can, can I just get... You start at Tobit 4.11. You're not, you're not putting any context on there. Let's start at Tobit 4.7. Give alms out of thy substance okay. and turn not away okay. the, thy face from any poor person. Okay, keep going. According to thy ability, mm -hmm. be merciful. It's called... Okay, keep, keep reading, keep reading. It's reading. not that it's money, Matt. Sure it is. The fact that it's money, sure. you're, you're putting emphasis on that, but that's not the point. And if you read it in context, uh -huh. it's clear. So then, by giving cash and gifts, it helps deliver people from sin. It depends. No, Matt. If you're going at it from the intent that, oh, I'm going to buy off my sins, something that Trent has... For all um, deliver from very, all sin. Very clearly defined against, no. If you're giving from your substance, okay, like, uh... Yeah, so you give from your substance. So what? Give it from your substance. Let's go to Matthew 5, 7. Blessed are the merciful. Well, 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 well stick with mercy. Tobit. Stick with Tobit. Because... Well, let's put it in context, Matt. Let's put it in a Christian context. That's what I'm trying to do. You read okay, the context. So Tell me how cash isn't involved in getting your sins forgiven. See, again, you're putting emphasis on cash. But yeah, you believe I am. Verse, yep, that's right. Matt, the context of the verse is out of thy substance. That's what it says. Out of thy substance. Okay. Does that... What does that include? Okay. Give me a list of what that can, that can include. Come on. Well, let's just continue on to Tobit 4.9. If thou have much, give abundantly. If thou have little, take care even so bestow willingly a little. For thus thou storest up to thyself a good reward for the day of necessity. It's talking about the same thing that Jesus is talking about in Matthew 5, 7, and 8. So, uh, cash... And giving people in charity uh, delivers from sin? Man, it doesn't matter if it's cash or a coat for somebody that's freezing or a hat or mittens. It doesn't matter. Okay. It really well, doesn't my matter. My son, be matter. mindful of the Lord our God all thy days. Let not thy will be set into sin, or to transgress his commandments to uprightly all thy life, and follow not the ways of unrighteousness. Now, verse 6. For if thou deal truly, thy doing shall prosperously succeed to thee and all them that live justly. Give alms of thy substance, and when thou hast given alms, let not thine eye be envious. It goes on. Then in verse uh, there's 7, uh, give alms of thy substance. 8. If thou hast abundance, give alms accordingly. For thou hast laid up good treasure. Verse 10. Because that alms do deliver from death and suffer not to come into darkness, for all is a good gift unto all that give to the sight of the Most High. Right, Matt, and what Tobit is saying there is not go sprinkle coins on the altar. That's not the point. The point is feed the hungry, clothe the naked. So, um, is it true that alms deliver from all sin? Uh, in the context that Tobit delivers it, yes. Okay. 
Yes. Giving cash, giving substance, helping Some people out. substance, Matt. Then, Moved uh, by grace, okay, to the will of Christ. Okay, are you doing that? By substance. Are you doing that? Am I doing that? Yeah, are you helping people out so that you can be delivered from sin? To the best of my ability. No, I'm doing it because I love Christ, Matt. And that's what my substance is. No, look, alms. Define what an alm is. Define what alms is. Well, why don't you look at it in the New Testament? You want to reference a New Testament verse? Just a dictionary for it. Matthew 4, Luke 11, 41. Alms, come on. I mean, works of charity, uh, money, uh, food, uh, sure. to help people. So these things deliver you from all sin. Yes, Matt. They do. Okay. Wow. That's called, in theological circles, it's called blasphemy. So cash. We, we cash. We have a disagreement. There. Yeah, we certainly do. I believe the Bible, and you don't. Yeah, but what, what's happened, Matt, is that we've gone... Wow. Cash. ...discussing the deuterocanonical books to trying to... You said... Obviously, you're, you're you focusing said, on the money aspect. Oh, it's money, it's bad, it's uh, you said, money and this and that. You said that... Look, hold yeah. on, Apocrypha. You said Apocrypha was inspired. I'm showing you what it says. It Let's look into it. it so it's inspired and it's true that cash can deliver you from sin. Cash with a context, man. Oh, you admit it. Why, why cash with a context. Money with a... Okay, what, what context... We'll talk about cash. You, you admitted it. What context helps... You and your your money with your context deliver you from sin. What you know? But that's what Jesus is supposed to do. But tell me how your cash does that. What context? Give me a context for the. Okay. Tell me how how your cash delivers you from sin. Are Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to Matthew five seven and eight. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Let's just stop right there. What do we need mercy from, Matt? I'm just waiting for you to answer the question. We need mercy because of our fallen nature. Uh -huh. Because of our sin, man. Uh -huh. But if we're merciful, we'll, we'll receive mercy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. there you go. Okay. So let's Blessed go back to Tobit. The heart, they shall see God. Okay. Can okay. we go back Be to the... heart of what? Thy substance. Okay, that's nice. Can we go back to the no. topic at hand? For all sure, the let's, get back to the, let's get back to the actual deuterocanonical books. Hold on a second. Tobit 4.11. We haven't got to Tobit 12.9 yet. For alms deliver from all sin and from death and will not suffer the soul to go into darkness. We're talking about salvation here by cash. Cash, cash, cash. That's not, Matt, you're putting the wrong focus on it. And that's not the, let me just what focus it put on? another way. What focus? What focus? Let me phrase it another way. I don't think that because it's cash, that's going to save me. You're putting the emphasis on cash. Well, wait a minute. I want it to sound like I think I'm paying for my salvation. You are. You are. You're that's earning it. That's not it. You are earning it. No, yes, you I'm are. not earning it. Yeah, you are. Uh, you're so Jairus already discussed our, our understanding of merit with you. Yeah, he was very wrong. No, he's not wrong. Yes, he is. No, God Tobit. did not owe anything. Tobit 4.11. For all who deliver from all sin and from death, and will not suffer the soul to go into darkness. Here's Tobit 12, 9. For alms deliver from death, and the same is that which purgeth away sins, and maketh okay. to find mercy and a blessed life. So cash purges away your sins. Hey, Amen. Let's try this one more time, and then we'll move on, okay? Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm nailing you on this one. It's cash. Cash. It's not the fact that... Matt, can I talk, please? Go ahead. It's not the fact that it's cash, man. It isn't? No. It's like Tobit 4 eight says, according to thy ability, be merciful. Okay. Remember Matthew 5, 7, blessed are the merciful. Yeah. Okay, this so. This is what the alms are for. It's tell me what. Merciful. It's not give just me a, sprinkle money around and you'll get salvation. That's not what it's saying, That's, that's what Tetzel said. That's what Tetzel said. You're ripping it from its context that's what Tetzel because said. you want to place the emphasis on the money. Okay, now... That's not what it's saying, Matt. Okay, so give me a list of what the alms are. Would you agree money is in there? Uh, donations, right? 